Brian, you want to lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. They will call the uh, August meeting of Batavia Township to order. Here, 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 here. Okay, for the benefit of those of you watching on TV, we will we'll take a break uh, while they check the bills for last month and the accounts. Two eyes. Two, two eyes. These eyes. These eyes. These eyes. These eyes. These eyes. These eyes. I'm ready. I'm not. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the uh, reconciliation of the uh, road district. Right. There you go. All right. 5150, 289.88. <coughs> <laughs> I don't know it's better to look for the, the amount of the check number. Oh, there's no check now. Yeah, they're right here. Oh, all this time, huh? I know. There you go. 5150. 5150. No, no, 5150. 5150. Oh, thank you so much. Was 209.88. That's correct. There we go. All right, 5151. 5151. 8,462. Too much. It takes 30 seconds per check. We're going to be here. I know. That's like eight and one. Two. 5152. 70394. Do you want to call them out? 5152. I gotcha. 70394. Gotcha. 5153. 5153. Can you go all the way down the list because it does go all the way down. There it is. 5153. 8920. Gotcha. Okay. 5154. Gotcha. 100. Gotcha. Wow. 5156. I might find it eventually. There it is. 1028.64. Too much. Well, it's what it is. 5157. What is on the list? 5157. Uh, 4,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000
Ladies, it is. Oh, there you go. Uh, fifty-six seventy-four. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Uh, fifty-one sixty-eight. Okay. I'll, I'll find it. You will. I'll find it. And you don't like this amount. There it is. Yeah. Nineteen thousand six hundred sixty-two. Fifteen. Struck. Who's struck? Struck in urban paving. Mm -hmm. Uh, 5160.9. 5120.56. Yep. 5171.5. 5120.56. Yep. 5171.7. Yep. 5171.7. And you and far between. Gotcha. 2651.5. Yep. 5173. 5173. Yep. It is 5796. Okay. And that'll do it for that one there. Is that it? It is it. I have a balance of 509,887.62. You're correct. You're correct. You are correct. I'll do that there. There you are, sir. Copy. This is this. You want to call them out? I no. could. Okay. Let's try that for one. We'll get you there. Mm -hmm. You call them out. Oh, 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 there we go. Someone's giving their own one there for a second. That would have been disastrous. All right. All right, here we go. Jeez, how many are there? There's a whole boatload. Right. Too many. This is uh, the yes, assessor's fund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do with Gen General Township General Fund. It's the assessor right. General Fund. So we don't fund. spend much. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. All right. 5206. 5206. It's 4206. 4206. You said 5206. No. 4206. Right away with me. Right away with me. I see. I have, um, I need two for, I was last year. Just today. Well, you're doing that. It's 56. I hear you. I hear you. Back off. You sure? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm telling you, it's not here. It's not there. 4206. What? Maybe. Forty-two nine. Forty-two oh six. Forty-two nine. Forty-two oh six. Forty-two oh six. Forty-two oh six. Forty-two oh six. Oh, here we go. It is, uh, no, it, yeah. 5948. Is, this, is it for source one? I don't know. Because it says 4226. Schmippuses. 4226. Well, here. Uh, here we go. I think we're going to this here. This is 4226, the source one. There go. Here, look, look, look. I see that. It's not, it's not an excellent scale. Okay, well, here, look. They, they just must have the number wrong. Well, that's okay. Is it 4206? This is 4206 for source one for 5948, right? So this is 4226 for source one for 5948. It's got to be. It was transferred wrong here. It's got to be. Yeah, that's an error on. Who's it, Layla? That's it. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. All right. So it's 4226 on here. That's a mistake. It's 4226. No, no, no. You're right there. It's 4206. Okay, go ahead. Okay. 4209. Yes. 8550. Yes. 4218. Yes. 8550. 4218 is 175. Yes, it is. 
4219 is 200. It is indeed. 4220 is 138.86. Uh -huh. And 4221 is $4,220.43. And 4222 is $1,612. 1622 is 1690. Yep. Yeah. And 4224 is 3680. Yeah. I just forget. 4227 is 9. 43, 97. Yeah. 4227 is 2 pages here. I did change my list. 42. Gosh, there's so many little numbers. All the numbers. Yeah, I need. I, I, you can use them. That's all right. Um, so who's getting a little bit? Cut it now. 42. Anyway, right, 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 right. What was the um, amount? 923.97. Here, 923.97. Yep, okay. Okay, and 42.28. Yeah. Which is $70.50. Yeah. And we have a ending balance of 723,653. 14. 723.8723653.14. Okay, so there's two in here. Gotcha. Gotcha? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're all set. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 you're not. You got another page of checks. You got help? Yeah. I got all these. What are all these? I don't know. That's what her. Like 40. Whose fund is that? This is the General Fund Assessor's Fund. General fund. This is general fund. Period. General fund. Period. Everything was nice. I mean, these are all my. I went to college. Yeah, stuff like that. What does it say? Everything. Yeah. General and assessors. Yeah. Where did you stop? Where did you just stop? I stopped. Where did I just stop? With check number forty-two twenty-eight. All right. Alright, here we go. There you go. I'm giving you this. Time is it? Is it 7.48 yet? And I really thought I could make it to my thoughts of reading after this. Yeah, that's going to have more. Yeah. Yeah. You're too bogey. That's it. What have we got? You hit it the mouth, right? We well, you must have general assistance. Right here. Okay. This is a classic. This is too classic. It's right up there with who's on first. Who's <laughs> checking the check? Who's checking the check? Who's who's checking the check? I know. See, we need him. Where is he? Well, there's only a few here, so we're all right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I am. This is general assistance. This is general assistance fund. Yeah. 42, 41. Yes, 47, 42. 953. 9, 47, 41. 953. Yep. 50. Yeah. Now 4742 yep. is 1612. Or 1812. It is 1812. Go on. Okay, and 4743 is 178.60. 4743 would be 32.77. No, 4743. This is 178.60. I said I got 47.49 is 178.60. Well, that's 47.44. Is that? So we've got. Okay, so you got 47.43, right? You said? Yeah. And that's for advanced disposal. 178.60. Okay. All right. And then we got 44. Right. For 47.97. Right. And then we got 45. Right. For 32.77. I got 47.45 for 178.60 again. It's a technique. Who's doing this? Yeah. Well, we, we got well, I have a lady that um, her daughter plays on the daughter's soccer team on Alex. Because 170 to 60 is 43. 47, 43, you have 170 to 60. Then what's, what's, what you, you don't have to check 45. 47, 45 for waste yeah. management for 170 to 60. Well, you know. There we go. That's for Oscar. For some Oscar drug. Wow. Oh, really? Oh, so what even was the Seriously, you see this? You know. For some for five Oscar drug. It must be 3277. It is 3277. Okay. And then we got 46. Try to identify what they're actually looking for. Especially 
Or use the right test. Okay, All right, go on. 46. What I'm looking for. Yeah. You know, 66, 40. Right. And 48. Right. 135, 10. Right. And 49, 178, 60. It's another 178, 60. So there are two checks for. Oh, no. There's two checks for 178. This is horrifying. 47, 47, like, you know, so you get the idea of how, how much time you're going to have. We have a clerical issue. A lot of clerical issues. Right. 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 Two meals, or whatever, right? So, yeah, just kind of. What was that last amount? The last amount was 47.49. Four hundred and seventy and sixty. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Total? I don't know. The total ending balance is hundred and forty one thousand seven hundred and nineteen. Hundred and forty one thousand seven hundred and nineteen. Yep. Very good. All right. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do this. I'll do this one too. What is the front This is the front page. I don't know if I believe No, it's a lot of hard no. Like I said, I hear people that I'm moving across for six weeks. She was out there with a spray bottle washing her before the garage door. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you like it. Oh, it's just a lot of hard no. It's all hard work for her. Bare floor on the first floor, so I'm going to go with a swift or sweet one every day. It's less passes. Efficiency all the way. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll entertain a motion for approval of minutes from July. I move the approval of minutes of July. Second. Um, Mitchell. Yes. Singer. Yes. Tracy. Yes. Anderson. Yes. The approval of accounts from July. So moved. Second. Mitchell. Yes. Yes. Tracy. Yes. Anderson. Yes. And do we have an assessor's report, Tammy? Yeah. We uh, published our assessments last month. So June 26th, we published in the Kane County Chronicle. So we've gone through the whole process, the um, filing deadline to file an assessment appeal at the county ended July 27th. So this year we were a little bit earlier and uh, um, it was a general reassessment year, so all, all parcels were reviewed again, as we have done so in the past four years. Um, we have 
our final count of appeals, and we only had 68 filings this year. So for 13,000 parcels and we had 68 appeals, that's pretty good. So how many commercial versus residential? Yeah, you know, I haven't added up yet, but there's more commercial and industrial. Um, there are a lot of, there's a lot of vacancies and they're, you know, claiming losses due to vacancy. So um, the higher percentage is definitely commercial industrial. Last year it was that way as well. That's what I figured. So yeah. But overall it's it's been a pretty pretty good year and um, it's going good. Now we're we're still doing new construction. We have to do that through the end of the year. Um, and any home improvements that people add on we keep up with those so that's it okay how's the car do we have what do we do with the car oh. um the car uh, i wasn't even going to bring it up tonight I'll, oh, okay. but, but no that's fine um i took it down to chuck's garage and uh he called me down a couple hours later and he had it up in the hoist and he showed me how badly it thrusted out underneath i mean Everything from brake linings to calipers to springs to whatever, and he estimated probably three to four thousand to fix it. So, I mean, Tammy and I have been talking about it, and actually, Mike uh, Gorney is the only one that really uses it. Uh, I could use it for meetings and stuff like that, and Tammy could, or but I mean, it's not a total necessity. So I think that. Uh, Rather than spend any money on it, um, you know, and if we're going to keep it, we're going to have to spend a minimum, probably of fifteen hundred dollars to make it safe. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's not worth it. The car's not worth that much. I mean, the interior and the exterior are in good shape. It's got little miles, right? Yeah, well, eighteen thousand five hundred. How many? Eighteen thousand. Oh my gosh! Well, yours is it? Engine. Uh, it's just rusted out though. Two thousand one. Rusted I'm sorry. car, things just fall mm -hmm. off. Yeah, so, that's a shame. So, I know. We're gonna have a driver soon. You wanna... So I wonder what spent three or four thousand dollars. Well, and, and, and one car. of the it's major things was he showed he well, showed me right. that the the coil springs uh, they tend to break. Yeah. And when they do, they pierce the sidewall. And so if you're driving down the highway and one of those coil springs break. <laughs> You're in trouble. Uh, yeah. I, I'll take it. I think I once I don't want, I, I refuse get to into the car, it's going to need more repairs. Nah, yeah. really, you'll be fine. I'll, I'll be, be fine. fine. That's usually what happens. Yeah. But, but so we've all had old cars we've seen it all at one time or another. Yeah, you know, they're just nothing but money pits. It's a shame. I think we should just sell the engine. That's a good idea. Yeah. It probably would be worth more than that. And throw in the car. Yeah. Carlos was working on that car recently. It's been well, so he, he might be interesting. Uh, he told me too that you know he's concerned with a car like this that some young person's going to buy it and yeah. uh, you know get into serious accident or something because of malfunctions or some, something just falling off of it. <clears throat> the tires are original, and as a result, uh, it shimmies. <laughs> So. Fine vehicle. The engine, no. Well, it's kind of like the last car. I mean, they last forever because there's well, not much thing, town to drive here. You know, it's just that thing just completely uh, rusted out. Yeah. I think you yeah. guys should just get a like a golf cart. <laughs> Why don't we just refresh? I, I mean, really, how far? Well, <laughs> well really if Mike is willing to Segways use his own be, vehicle, yeah, that's a possibility. But I don't know. I. That's up to him. Yeah, and, you know, they, they turn out a bill once a month or once every six yeah. months for a mile. It's going to, you know how long it would take to get across town in a golf cart? <laughs> you know how illegal that would be? <laughs> Pull me over right there. I'll make sure. I Just know. call the guys, look for a snowplow, and drive them over. Wait, there's Tammy's golf cart. I'll, well, not so much for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the road commissioner. Chris is on vacation. Here? That's too bad. Um, I'm going to shut that. If I can, uh, shut the.
fan off. Oh, public. <laughs> oh, everybody. Are you chilly this summer? Yeah, it's kind of chilly. So, you know, I look at all that stuff that you've pictures and stuff. What blind spot are we talking about? The traffic along 25 where the kids are going to go across with it? Maybe for you. It's really not a blind spot necessarily. I mean, you know, blind spots, you can't see what's going on the corner, but that's really not, I mean, well, it's those people that come down Shag Bar to get to the park. All right, so they're really blind. They're the ones in the Okay, on the shag bar issue, I think I've corresponded or passed on the correspondence to you, mm -hmm. um, but we have had contact uh, with the state. Um, I think two weeks probably have passed since they said that they would uh, let us know what they determined and nothing has happened. Um, what was the gal's name? What was the name? Oh, it's in the middle. Uh, she just sent me an email because uh, I... Eric Eric, sent Eric me an email um, stating that if we think that uh, they need a petition or something, that she said their neighbors will all sign it. But I'm surprised that we haven't heard any more from the state. They did acknowledge that you know we uh, had the complaint. Mike Fortner followed up, and uh, so that's where we stand right now. So I'm going to wait when Chris comes back and uh, see if the uh, high, our highway guys can do something. I will contact the state once more, and if I don't get any answers, then we'll just go ahead and, and do it. Uh, I think it's an issue that's very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so when Chris comes back, we'll talk about it and see what we can do. But that's where we stand in that. Um, we got our preliminary report for Ryden Kane. If anybody's interested, it's a 19 page draft over there. And it explains everything about Ryden Kane. If you don't know what it is or want to know more, um, you can certainly borrow it. Uh, uh, the, the conference in November, I think I sent everybody an email. Um, I've got, let's see, Vicki, you didn't, are you going? You have to, when do you have to know by? Right as soon now. as possible. And you're going. You're going. You better come. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, go. Good. All right. Yeah, and the only one I haven't heard from you is... Are you going? Yeah. You going? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Layla's going. That's good. Layla's going. Yeah. Well, that's good. Well, come on now, Sue. It's like <laughs> Susan. Susan. traveled, I can't. Oh. Um, oh. I haven't heard from John, but I'm sure he's going. I, I don't have any. Good. Yeah, because I, I don't think we're going to get, even at this date, early date, uh, it's a lottery between the, um, what is it, the Crown Plaza and whatever else, and yeah. Holiday Inn Express. And we have no control over that. And But I, I still think that we should get one of those two. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it, the Hamptons right there, the uh, they, they've got some really nice hotels right in that area, so we haven't had any problem. Um, 708 board opening. Um, we can't act on it tonight because I didn't get this uh, in time to put it on the agenda. But I have a letter that says, Dear Jim, with you, able assistance of Howard Katz, we've recruited Batavia Township resident to fill our opening on the 708 board. And it's Michael Lowry from North Aurora. Oh, good. He's a retired mental health professional, North Aurora Village trustee. So he's asking that we would appoint them and if Howard, I can tell Jerry that uh, I'm sure that there's no problem, but we can't do it <coughs> until it's on the agenda, so, okay. Anybody from the public have anything to say? Howard? No, just saying that. Oh, okay. Any trustees? No. No? Okay. I have a couple other things. Um, the Township of Kane County's 
Our meeting is August 26th at St. Charles Township at 7 o'clock. And uh, Chris Lawson is going to be there. Uh, so if anybody is interested in what the county board chairman has to say, he will be there. And also, uh, electric aggregation is something that the county had uh, contracted. They, they sent out bids to uh, get, get somebody to uh, give reduced rates to unincorporated townships uh, for electric bills. And they did um, contract with Dynergy, Dynergy Energy Services and uh, the, the residents of unincorporated Kane County have a choice to stay with either um, ComEd or go with Dynergy. And if they don't do anything, they will automatically be switched to Dynergy. If they want to stay with ComEd, they have to uh, apply for that. And it says here that typical household savings would be a couple dollars a month, up to $20 a month. So you can, I mean, it's overall, it's, it's quite a bit of money, but it's not going to save the individual households any. There, it's the contract is for two years. Um, and if the uh, Dynegy Corporation decides to back out of it, then you'll, they'll automatically go back to Commonwealth Edison. That's for the unincorporated. That's unincorporated. And that's all I have. Time and date of the next meeting will be Tuesday, September 8th at 7 p.m. I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. Uh, Mitchell? Yes. Tracy? Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I think that went quite well. Thank you, public. <laughs> <laughs>